I'm gonna combine about 10 different AI tools in this video to create a one person business. And we're gonna start from the very beginning. We're gonna pick an idea and name a logo. And we're gonna take it all the way to actually marketing the business and trying to get our first client. And we're gonna do this as fast as possible. This video is brought to you by HubSpot. More on that in a bit. Okay, the very first tool is gonna to be ChatGPT. This is gonna help us come up with a business idea. And my prompt is, I'm trying to come up with a one person business idea. Ask me as many questions as you need to learn about my skill set before giving me five recommendations. Now, ChatGPT by default, if you've been using it long enough, it can access previous chat. It also saves stuff to memory. So it will probably have some good information on you. But this will help you even if you haven't used ChatGPT that often and it doesn't have much context. Now, these are the list of questions you'll need to answer for yourself. But if you want, you can ask ChatGPT to ask you questions one at a time if you want it to be more conversational. Some of the questions are about the different skills you already have, technical or creative. Have you ever freelanced before? What kind of tools do you use? Do you know Adobe Photoshop, for example, ChatGPT video editing? So I'm gonna answer these here off camera and then I'll show you where it takes us next. Okay, you gave us five options, AI powered content engine for experts. This looks like kind of a niche down marketing agency. I have a video production agency, so this is a little too similar to that. AI led UGC ad studio for e-commerce brands. This is interesting, using AI tools to help e-commerce brands come up with ads. AI funnels lead gen microsite as a service. Build high converting lead gen Microsoft using AI. Okay, this last one I kind of like, high ticket AI marketing automation setup. So I teach AI, obviously, I know a lot about marketing. I've had companies for almost 20 years now and automation, I've been using a lot of N8N, a lot of Zapier, so this might be a really good one. And it says price 5,000 for setup and optional monthly check-ins. I think this is a good one. Okay, I'm gonna say let's go with number five and I'm gonna ask it to help me come up with a prompt to help me dive deeper in deeper research here. This is one of my favorite ways to use ChatGPT. Ask it to create a prompt that you could use in ChatGPT or another AI tool. So I'm actually gonna copy this prompt right here. This is gonna be a business strategist. I'm building in one person. So all the context is there and it's telling me exactly all the different things that I need to explore when I'm doing deep research. Now for step two, I'm gonna use Google Gemini. I'm just gonna use the free version of Gemini. They have something called deep research with 2.5 Pro right now. And I'm gonna take that prompt I got from ChatGPT and use that as my prompt over here. Now, the reason why I'm not using ChatGPT to do deep research is because I personally think Google Gemini deep research, especially with the new Gemini model, just does a far more detailed job. But if you want, you could literally take this prompt, turn on deep research and not use a secondary tool and do it all inside of ChatGPT. This is my preferred workflow. I use the best AI tools for that very specific tasks. That's why I'm gonna jump around between different things. Although a lot of it you can do inside of ChatGPT. Okay, in about 10 minutes, Gemini deep research gave me a really comprehensive overview. And I usually take the time and kind of browse through this to make sure I understand this business model. I've used this multiple times already, this exact workflow that I'm showing you here for launching a business from scratch. And this is super, super detailed. And on the bottom of it, you're gonna see all the different websites that it went through. Typically, it goes through quite a bit of websites. Sometimes I've seen it go through like 300 different websites. And then I could export it directly to Google Docs from here. And over here, this is just a typical Google Docs. So I could highlight it as 24 pages of research that I got in just 10 minutes. That's actually very practical. I've used these all the time. Okay, the third tool I like to use is called Notebook LM. Again, one of my favorite tools out there that I've covered lots of times on this channel. And this is another free tool from Google. So, so far, all those tools are free to use. And right here, Google Drive, I could share that Google Doc directly here because I just saved it out of Gemini. So I'll bring it as a source. And this also has an option for discovering more. So if you wanna discover more, you could type in a prompt here and find more resources. But right now, I think this deep research did a really good job. And sometimes I go and add more sources like a specific website that I already found about this or any YouTube video, but that will take my research to the next step. Right now, for the sake of speed, I'll just call it here. And I usually get a briefing doc from this page because this was 24 pages. Even though I glanced at it, I want a really clean briefing doc, which is about two pages. Okay, you could see this is just a couple pages of the key points from that deep research document. So I could go through this very quickly. If I'm considering multiple different ideas, I might do this for all three or four ideas 
and then just read this two page briefing doc and see if it's a good fit. And if you're not familiar with audio overview here, you could go ahead and generate an audio overview. So this will create a podcast conversation between two people that will go through that 24 page documentation as a source. It's usually 10, 15 minutes. So if you're on the go, you could always listen to this idea this way too. So all that was part one, picking a business idea. And I go through that same process pretty much every single time. And usually I spend a little bit more time in the research phase of that. So for part two, let's come up with our name, logo, and brand identity. I like to use name licks for this. You can come up with your name with ChatGPT and any other AI tool too. But name licks is really interesting. You'll type in a couple of keywords over here and I'll just be lazy. I'll just ask ChatGPT, give me two keywords here that represent this business. Okay, we'll take done for you marketing systems with AI. We'll type that in and we'll go ahead and press generate here. And then you'll choose the style here. So if you want real words like Apple or Amazon, or if you want something brandable like Google, and I'm gonna type a business description. I help entrepreneurs and creators automate their marketing using AI powered systems to save time. Okay, let's generate that. And this is why I like name licks, right? It's given us a bunch of different names, but it's putting it in kind of a logo look that makes it really easy to see what stands out to me, right? ChatGPT is just gonna give you a list of names. I like to look at them this way a lot more. Okay, I think I like this one, Magic Marketer. This one is interesting. AI Marketer Pro is more literal and interesting too, but there were a ton of good options. Just for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and I'll save this one. This is the one I'm gonna use. Now I could check the domain and things like that, but I'm gonna do the next step, which is creating a logo. And this website, you can do everything. So if I click here, I could edit this and it's gonna give me different options for the logo too. So that's one way to go about it, but I'm gonna show you another AI tool. Okay, this one is called Luca.com. Design your own beautiful brand. So this is gonna help us with all kinds of different things we need to get our brand set up right now. I just need a logo just to get us started over here. So I'm gonna type in Magic Marketer. This is gonna be consulting. It's gonna ask me what kind of logos I like. So I'll pick a few that I like, something simple. Okay, now here we got a bunch of different logos. Now, I usually don't spend a lot of time on logos. They're easily changeable later but I'll go ahead and pick one here for this video. Okay, I like this one. This one's connecting the dot, a little bit techy of a font over here, and it's gonna show us what it's gonna look like on other things like business cards and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this directly from this side here. The other options you have is ChatGPT has a great image gen, great for logos if you give it the right prompt. Midjourney also is really good at logos too. Okay, next part is building the website. And I've been building websites for over 15 years, so it comes pretty easy to me, but I know a lot of people, this is the part where they feel like they get stuck. So I'm gonna make this as easy as I can for you using AI. HubSpot has this tool right here, a free website builder. And this basically will turn a simple text prompt into a clean single page site. So you don't need any technical skills and you'll handle everything, the layout, the copy, everything that you need to get a site up and running. So I'm gonna show you this real quick. So I'm gonna press get started here for free. Just create a free account here. And it's just gonna ask me a few questions here. So I'm gonna go through those questions. And right here, it's gonna ask me to describe my business. So we already did that with ChatGPT. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that. It's gonna be in English. And we're gonna offer a service over here. I'm gonna attract leads. Do we need to publish a blog? Well, it doesn't hurt. And I want a modern looking website. Okay, in about 10 seconds, this is the website that I got. And it has all the different pieces that you need here. The pricing piece here. Obviously, I wanna go ahead and edit that. I'm gonna do a little bit more research on how I want to price that but all the pieces are here. Any of these elements, they're really easy to go ahead and change. So you could go ahead and change the header, for example, all these different things could be changed. So if I wanna change my logo, well, that's over here, right? So I will go ahead and take the logo and upload the one that I got from our other website. Okay, perfect, that's our new logo here. And this headline, again, this writes all the copy for you. So I think this is a really good headline. So I'm not gonna change this one over here. This image is pretty good, but if I took a picture of myself maybe working on this, that would make more sense, or I could generate anything with AI too and replace this. And the call to action, the CTA here, explore our solutions or get started today, those work very well. Really easy kind of drag and drop kind of a template over here. And I could just press publish when I'm ready and it's gonna go ahead and publish this site. And then we're gonna get a URL. And if you wanna add your own custom domain, you could go ahead and do that over here in the next step. Now, as you could see, in just a few minutes, we got a website that looks pretty good. It looks pretty legit here, right? So you could build your own website for free using the link in the description. Big thanks to HubSpot for sponsoring this video and making this tool available for free.
so we're now into part number four. We got the essentials out of the way, but now we need to actually let people know that we have a service and we have something to offer them, right? So we're gonna do that in a few different steps. For part four, I wanna show you social media marketing with some automation, right? That's gonna help us promote our business. We need some content on the web. So the very first part for that is not the AI part, but you need to set up your social channels. You still have to do that manually. So go to YouTube, go to Instagram, go to TikTok, wherever you want a social presence, go and create those channels. So in this case, I'm only gonna focus on LinkedIn and I'm gonna focus on Instagram for now because I could use images for Instagram and I could use text for LinkedIn. AI makes that really, really easy. And I'm gonna use Canva AI for a lot of that asset creation. I'm sure you've used Canva before, but they got this new option, this Canva AI option right inside of the Canva platform where you describe your idea and it brings that idea to life, right? So if I go inside of Notebook LM, because it has all that research for us, and again, I'll continue adding to this research. So this is gonna be our basically our central hub for all our knowledge. I'll ask Gemini and Notebook LM here to help me come up with ideas for social media posts. And my prompt is literally asking it to give me the prompts for Canva AI, right? So this is gonna give me some prompts. Prompt number one, repurpose a blog post. Prompt number two, create an engaging post. So let's go ahead and take this prompt right here. And I'll just paste it over here and we'll send this out. And just like that, we got a bunch of options here ready to go. And these look actually really, really good, right? It's basically trying to get some engagement by doing these type of posts. You could edit all these in the Canva editor, but this literally uses all our research, combines it with Canva's AI to give us social media graphics. The next part is the automation part. So let me show you that. So there's this platform called Flick. This is an AI social media manager. They have this AI tool called Iris, and this makes social media posting really, really easy. So it'll walk you through how to do that. This is an automation step that you could take up front or you can manually post on things like Instagram. This is really designed for platforms like Instagram, but it's an all-in-one social media manager. The other option I created an entire video about, but you could use Zapier, which is an automation tool where Zapier will go find information related to your niche for you on the web from other publications. It will use ChatGPT to repurpose that and it will make it sound like you. You could do this with a prompt over here and it will create a LinkedIn post. So it's a simple three-step process and it will literally post that on your LinkedIn business page because this is a business type of a service that I have where I need clients that are probably gonna spend a lot of time on LinkedIn over things like TikTok. And that's why I chose LinkedIn and Instagram. This part will automate the LinkedIn part, the Flick and the Canva AI will take care of the visual post inside of Instagram for me. Okay, now we're on to part five. Let's actually try to get our first paying client. Now, organic content we've already set up, right? We have our website set up, but for someone to find our website or to find our organic content, that's gonna take a little bit of time, right? We have to just keep doing that every single day. But I'm gonna show you something with outreach via email and something with paid ads. Okay, so let me show you outreach first. There's this platform that I've used across different businesses. This is called Apollo.io. And what Apollo does is it actually finds leads for you based on all kinds of different ways that it could search different areas on the internet to find leads. So I could look for companies and I could look for individual people here, right? So I could search based on different personas. So I could create a persona with AI and this is gonna walk me through exactly how to do that. Okay, so Magic Marketer is the name. The product is AI Marketing Automation and this is what we do. And I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this. And this is gonna literally build an AI persona and then that AI persona is gonna get matched with real people, right? So marketing managers, e-commerce directors, small business owners, and I could add more, but that is actually perfect for that. I'm gonna select all these personas over here and it's gonna refine the search. And you could see, these are the people, these are their titles, these are the companies they work at. And then if I upgrade here, I could access their email here. And this literally has this sequence right here. Let me just show you this option, it's really cool. This will be a multi-email sequence that it will create here and then send it to the personas that you chose. It walks you through all of those things. This is called email outreach, one of the forms of getting clients when you're starting a business completely from scratch, right? So 
If you don't like the cold email option, let me show you paid ads because that's another fast way you could do this because again, organic content will take some time. Okay, this is the meta ad library. So Facebook and Instagram ads, they have an ad library, right? So I could look over here based on country and this is gonna be all ads, but I want AI automation, right? That's the type of service that we're gonna do here. So we'll search for that and it's gonna show us active ads right now on the Facebook platform or in the Instagram platform that are running right now. So I could click on add details here and see the ad a little bit bigger. Now, what I like to do is typically this will help me brainstorm, right? So if I take a screenshot of this ad, let me show you how I use ChatGPT to do this. Okay, I'm gonna say I like this ad. Give me a variation for this to work with this offer. And I'm inside the same conversation because I want all this context. If you're starting a new conversation, you will have to give it enough context of exactly what you're looking for. Just for a sake of example, I'm just gonna show you how fast this is. It's literally gonna take this ad right here and it's gonna give me copy for what it thinks it should be over here. So it created an offer for us. Apply to claim your free strategy call. So it's telling us to use that as a lead magnet, only five slots available, so scarcity here. And I'm just gonna say generate the graphic. And remember, you could use Canva for this exact same thing too. I'm just showing you multiple different ways to go about this. This is gonna go ahead and generate. Okay, it's actually looking good. AI marketing automation done for you. Finally remove yourself. Oh, and a little typo from manual marketing task and get a complete AI driven system built for your business in just two days. Okay, couple of spelling issues, which again, this is sometimes you have to go back and forth. It's pretty close to getting the text perfect, but not good enough. So that's why I rely on Canva a lot more. And now that you have this idea to recreate this literally with the old non AI Canva, it will, maybe take you like three, four minutes to do this, right? And then in the Facebook ad platform, when you set up your ad, you will link it to the website that we generated, right? The website is gonna have the CTA for them to book a call. And then we are gonna jump on a call and we are going to try to close this customer that comes from paid ads, right? So we got that outreach, which is the cold email that finds us the right prospects. We got ads, so we could do those at the same time, right? And we're still in the background building our content marketing across LinkedIn and Instagram. So that's gonna bring us reward a little bit later as soon as we start getting some organic reach on those platforms. So three different ways that we're gonna start getting clients that way. So in just this video, I build a business from scratch, but I think in less than a day, you could literally do this and get a business up and running using a combination of these AI tools. And I think I showed you about 10 in this video. And don't forget to check out the free website builder from HubSpot, super easy to use, and there's no tech skills required to build your own website. And if you wanna go deeper with AI and AI tools, me and my team, in the last couple of years, we've put together a very comprehensive platform that has over 20 AI courses, really specifically designed for entrepreneurs, it's called Skill Leap. And we're all focused on practical ways to use AI, specifically designed for business. And on top of the courses, we have a lot of downloadable resources. We have a private community. So you could ask me and other instructors any questions and we answer every single question there. A lot of times I don't get to respond to a lot of the YouTube comments that I get here. And I'll put a link to a free trial. Right now we have a seven day free trial where you could take advantage of all the courses, watch whatever you want, download any resources. There's no limitation in the free trial. You get full access, but I think you'll find the value there and you'll stick around after the trial. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.